Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and I am ready to continue on this no infantry challenge uh, on the Confederate campaign for Ultimate General Civil War. Uh, for those of you who are new, because we've had a lot of new subscribers in the last few days, uh, you can click on the link in the description below that'll take you all the way back to episode one. Basically what it is, is now that I've played through already on the legendary mode campaign, I wanted to try something different, a challenge. So I'm using no infantry brigades, only skirmishers, artillery, and cavalry. I am using the JNP rebalance mod, which uh, has a lot of features to it that I won't cover here, but you can look all that up for yourself. Uh, but it's a great addition to things. And if you see Panda Kraut uh, commenting on the various videos, he is the P in JNP. Uh, so anyway, we are on to the Battle of Fredericksburg. Uh, in terms of the number of soldiers involved, this was the largest battle uh, anywhere on the North or South American continents in the history uh, of, of those continents. Uh, about 200,000 men took, place, uh, took part in this battle. The vast majority of those were Union soldiers. I don't know what those numbers are going to look like until we do the crossing, but I know I will have 29,000 men, 171 guns. I will not be surprised if his number is over 100,000. Still, I should be able to hold with this number as long as he doesn't get too smart and mass all in one place. So let's dive in and see what happens. The first part is always this little kind of skirmish, this crossing. There's really not a lot of action with this. Uh, so honestly, I'm probably just going to skip through this and we will pick things up at Marie's Heights. All right, so here's the official numbers we're looking at for the main battle of Fredericksburg. I've now lost the skirmishers that it gives you for that opening phase of the battle. It's about 800 men, so now we're back to our regular number. Uh, 46 brigades, 28,000 men, 171 guns. Uh, Going to be outnumbered a little better than three, and, 3 to 1, like 3.5 to 1, and almost double on the guns. But I feel like that'll be enough as long as I do this right. And, of course, the first step of this is just to get out of dodge and just completely seed this half of the battlefield to the enemy. I don't need it to win. And so I didn't even field an army over there. I just have a core commander and this kind of extra infantry unit that I, I field just so I can use. It's a complicated thing, but with the mod, in order to be able to use infantry weapons with your skirmishers, you have to have infantry in the field. So uh, I have this one unit, minimum size 500. So we're going to skip ahead and we're going to go right to the Battle of Marie's Heights. Okay, so here we go, Maurice Heights. This is going to be the trickiest part, I think. Uh, if he just attacks piecemeal, as he often does, I will be fine. If he decides to mass up, particularly over here, this is kind of my weak spot, uh, I could have some trouble. Uh, so the main thing is just keeping enough reserves to where if he breaks through my initial line, I can throw him back with my additional troops and then my artillery. So I'm going to try to keep enough units on the, the wall that every unit has at least one backup. So if he falls back, he's got somebody behind him. I'm going to send my skirmishers over here to protect my flank. I feel like that will probably be enough to do that. And I've got to rush some of the guns over here because their initial placement was not in a good spot. I don't want to move the rifled guns too far back because I want them to be able to hit his artillery. These four four inch siege guns need to back up. They, I don't want them up on the line like that. And I also don't think I want a unit of artillery up that close because I feel like his artillery will just pummel them into oblivion. Supply won't be an issue. I've got 50,000. I should have supply here, yep, along with another 50,000 here. So there'll be plenty of supplies to get through this. And the longer this battle goes on, the more effective I'm going to be in throwing him off. Because he'll just run out of men. Main thing is I want to try and take out his guns as quickly as I can. If I'm able to reach them. They're just a little bit out of range in some spots. Right now, the numbers look like this. He's got 49,000 to my 7,800. <laughs> but that's going to close quickly. 
As long as he hangs out out here and doesn't push the attack, I will be fine. But if he tries to mass and break through, I could be in trouble. I'm trying to get as much artillery as I can. This is the main one I'm worried about because this is a, such a long position and he's got so many units that are facing him. I probably should have more artillery over there. So far he hasn't tried to shift anybody around to get around my flank. Eventually he may. He's already lost 5,000 men. Some of that may be the, the troops that he lost in the initial crossing. Here comes his first charge. That's going to be Zook. Let's hope he gets thrown back before he takes out too many of my men in a melee attack. i got a ton of guns here. There we go. He did throw Davis back, though. Not crazy about how many men I lost already. I didn't expect him to be that aggressive that early. He doesn't usually get like that. I really only have one reserve unit on the left. I guess I do. I've only got three total. I just have to be careful because if he breaks any point of this line, he's going to get on the flanks of all of them and then I've got trouble. I'm going to go ahead and bring these, skirm these sharpshooters out. Man, I did not expect him to be that aggressive that soon. Let's see where he's at on losses. Though. He's already down to 45,000 men, but I've lost 500. That's way more than I wanted to be losing this soon. That's what? Uh, almost 5%. So I want to try and bring these skirmishers up because what I want to do is, I, I wish I could do it on this side. I wish I could get somebody on the flanks. That would make such a difference to be able to work those skirmishers up and just snipe some troops. This marsh makes it really tough and I'm afraid he'll bring Buchanan up. Exactly what he's thinking about doing. I might be able to get a volley or two before they get into position. And then I'll just turn and fire on the cannon. Alright, here comes another one. Guns are just too far back for me to reach. He broke both of my lines with that one unit. Are you kidding me? Oh, and now he's going to advance over here, and I've got no other reserve. We gotta get the 95th rifles over there. Man, he is massing a ton right here. If he just would march everybody up, I would be toast. Completely toast. Let's pause for just a second. Right, I've already lost about 10%. I was not expecting to lose that many men. Now, he, granted, he's lost 20%, but um, this is not going nearly as well as I thought it would. I've lost 7% of my force overall, I guess. 
Um, yeah, see, like these frontline units are just not causing the casualties that I would like. I'm going to slow things down for a little bit. I don't have to bring up these other sharpshooters across this marsh. Well, that kind of stunk. I just lost 20 men. The problem is his artillery, and mine is just not long enough range to reach reach them. I gotta get these foreign siege guns out of this fortification because it seems like that's keeping them from being effective. All right, this is relieving some of the pressure on my left flank. In which case, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start shifting my artillery over. Man, he's got so many men, he could so easily break through anywhere he wants if he would just decide to. Alright, these siege guns can reach. They can reach his artillery. He's charging at my center now. I feel like things have stabilized on the left. I'm inflicting enough casualties now. Come on, guys. What are we waiting on here? And now we've got them down under 40,000. I'm still hovering just around seven. He's missing his opportunity, especially right here. He could punch through with no trouble whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I'm gonna bring these 14 pounders over too. Look at him bringing those guns up. Making my job easy. Well, here's Ohio Outlaws with 2,000 kills. Looking good with those 24 pounders, man. I wish I had some more of them. Unbelievable that he hasn't charged my right. Still three and a half hours to go. Oh, this is such a long fight to try and hold on for. Yeah, 
Anytime one of his units looks like they're gonna charge, it's a good time to concentrate all my artillery on them. All right, let's get Longstreet over there, because he'll probably break through Gordon. He'll take a ton of losses in doing it, though. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of men gone in a flash. Thankfully, there's no friendly fire on all these ca cannon. Oh, darn it. While I was focused on that, he was sneaking up on my snipers. Gotta back them up. He's starting to shift over to my right now. My left, I should say. His right. Alright, I'm just going to evaluate once again, see where things are. We're three and a half hours to go. So I've lost, oh boy, um, let's see what the percentage is now. Just about 11% of my force. My morale's still good, about 90%. Uh, we've taken out 15,000 of his men, so he's lost about a quarter of his force, maybe a little more. Uh, he's down to 159 guns. I've lost just one. So, so far, so good. Alright, let's continue. Just got to keep an eye on these guys over here. Right now it's just one small brigade, so I'm not too worried about it. Not enough to shift my units over that direction. Yeah, you know what? It always makes me wary to put units on this facing here because then he could fire with his artillery and start hitting their flank. It's just not a good situation. Perfect. Okay. Looks like he's kind of pulling back into town. fire on these larger batteries that still have a lot of guns. Three and a half, or three, three hours, 16 minutes to go. He's down to 34,000 men, down to 155 guns. Okay, these guys are going to try to cross over in this swamp. That's not a great area for trying to cross. Hopefully I, he's spread out enough now that I can kind of deal with these guys one at a time as they cross. Andrew's about to disappear. Yes. He's moving his guns up again, so we'll wipe out some of those batteries. Let's go ahead and pull Sems out. Put Kemper in. Just give Sims a little break. His morale's down to 22%. He's taking a lot of casualties. Gotta watch Davis for the same reason, but his morale's pretty good. Might be able to wipe out a couple of these batteries. Oh boy. Okay. No, why are you shooting at those guys? Back up, back up. Okay, he's got two brigades up here now. Somebody's charging. It's Robinson. Bye bye, Robinson.
Okay, so Garnet Skirmishers have inflicted 1,400 kills. The first CSA Sharpshooters have 1,000. He's starting to sneak up here. Gotta watch that. But with who? I can't break off Skirmishers. I don't have a lot of extra manpower. I think these guys are safe enough that I can pull Garnet out to go protect that flank. A lot of blue dead in front of that line. All right, Longstreet was driven off. We'll throw Gordon in there. You can see all of the craters from all of his artillery where it's landed. That's really been my main nemesis. But he's finally moved his guns up into range of mine. And that's allowing me to take these guys out. finish off Watson oh boy he's been targeting my siege guns I've lost two of those guns he's down to the same number of guns as me no now now though he's got 114 only 28,000 men left I think the danger has passed. Now he's finally targeting, you can see he's starting to target my artillery instead of my men. But I'm doing the same and I'm doing it more effectively. So I've lost about 1,500 men, about 15% of my force. We've taken out at least 25,000 of his. So probably what, 15 to one casualties? Get Longstreet back over here. I don't know where these Napoleons are going. Where is he charging? Oh, right in the center. Alright, let's get these siege guns out of here. I don't want to lose any more of them. Probably should have had them back a little further because they've got longer range. All right, we've got our first ammo issue. Not a problem. Because everybody else is being resupplied by this main ammo site here and there's plenty left.
All right, I think this one's well in hand. I have lost a lot of men. I've lost 1,700 now. I've lost six guns. Shifting more and more to this side. I think we're at a safe spot now where I can throw a pegram in on that left facing stone wall. The right flank is pretty well solid. Excuse me, so I think it's a good time to advance out and wreak a little havoc on his flank. Still got two hours to go. Because then the battlefield opens up and this is no longer protected by this southern border. checking things over here. I mean, he's bringing all those supplies out there. I could probably fire on them. I'm not going to be able to capture them, but I'd keep him from getting them. If I can drive off this brigade here, it's kind of open season on his whole left. Oh, we just wiped out a unit there. Start shifting artillery this way. Actually, let's move some up because Benjamin's causing some trouble for Sims. drive off that battery. And he's down to just 17,000 men and 55 guns. This is amazing. And now we've driven off that battery, which means now Sims gets to have a little fun. We've just got to keep an eye on the time. Wow, we wiped out Benjamin in a hurry. Benjamin's gone. You can go ahead and bring Kemper out too. All right, careful here. Got two brigades there. Let's go ahead and pull them back. I don't want to have to focus on that because I want to focus for a little while on what's happening over here.
All right, pretty content with where things are for the time being. Let's let this play out a little bit. Wiped out a few more units. Pretty solid all the way along the line. All right, let's try to get back at these guns here. Try to drive his supplies and corner him a little more. He's down to just 13,000 men. It's only a two to one advantage now. Glorious. Try to take these guns. Nice. Okay. Where's that put us? He's shifting more and more to his right. He's down to 12,000 men. Just 18 guns. I've wiped out 180 plus artillery pieces in this fight. Just gotta watch this shift, that he doesn't shift too much over here for my skirmishers to handle. I feel like they're okay. Between them, they've taken out 5,500 men. Let's go ahead and get Gordon over there to be extra cautious. None of these units are big enough for me to worry about except for this one 1,000 man unit. Because everybody else will probably get wiped out before they get close enough to the lines. I want to get where I can see everything. He's got a battery back here. I gotta be careful of that. Because he could be firing into my rear. An hour to go. Pretty content with this. By the time it's all said and done, I may outnumber him on this side. Running low on ammo because I got away from my base of supply. So I'm going to kind of slowly pull back now, especially with the time where it is. And I think I'll wrap up this episode with Maurice Heights. That's a lot for the first battle. Oh boy, here we go. Garnets. I don't like losing that many sharpshooters. It's about 20% of his force. Those guns are hard to come by. And then we'll bring things back in another couple of days, maybe tomorrow if I can, with the next phase going to be super close as to whether or not I outnumber him when this phase is over. Oh, wiped out another one. He's going to come down to the wire. I'm hoping I can outnumber him before this timer ticks down to zero for this phase. I'm actually going to pull Garnet out. Oh, just barely. He's got 114 more men than I do. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of the battle for Maurice Heights. That battle actually will continue, but now it opens up 
over here to the right so I get my second core now. So I'll have to get them into position and ready to go. But the amazing part is, um, oh, that's kind of surprising. That won't stay that way. I was going to say I outnumber him, but that won't last. Uh, that'll change as more of his troops get on the battlefield. But that'll be for another day. Please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you again with the next part of this battle.